Greetings, friend. I'll show you how to solve this puzzle, 350 by Yoshi Broshi, uh, by using an XYZ wing. Not only will I show you how to get to the spot where you get the XYZ wing, I'll explain how it works, um, why it works, and all the other advanced strategies you need to solve this puzzle. Click below if you want to give it a go. With that, it's solving time. First thing is I kind of notice you got a one and one here, and a one there means this has to be a one. I have solved this puzzle before. And I'm going to want to show you all the steps you need to take to get to the spot where you need the advanced strategy. In this case, you want to be looking for pairs, singles. Uh, you also want to look for any easy solves they have because you're just going to keep building this case. All right, I got a one here, one here, and a one here means this has to be a one. Uh, these nines cutting across with this nine coming down column four means this has to be a nine. So you're starting to see what we need to do. Uh, this five cutting down means the five's got to be one of these two spots. So this is Snyder notation. Anytime you have two candidates limited, uh, a candidate limited two spots in a three red three block, you want to mark those candidates. In case I solve one of these cells, the other one I can solve immediately for that candidate. Also clues me in on some advanced strategies in solving that we want to be able to apply. Okay, I also got a two and a two here with this two makes this a... Two. So we're going to make a, quite a bit of progress here with the Snyder and with uh, some cross hatching, but it's not going to be quite enough. All right, only two spots for nine here in block four. I'll make that mark. Uh, two spots for an eight here. I'll make that mark here because of this eight cutting across and this eight coming up. Uh, you'll see these this kind of like these shells created here actually creates uh, some good solving force. In fact, we can solve for a seven up here in block one. And how do we do that? This seven cuts across row three. A seven has to be here in row two in block two. We don't know where yet, but we know it has to be there. So that means the seven is limited to one of these three spots in row one. Well, it can't be this spot because of this seven. And then the sevens are limited to one of these three spots here in block four. So it can't seven can't be there either because it's got to be in one of these three spots. Which means we can actually solve this corner cell for a seven. Okay. Uh, I wanted to show that. That was kind of cool. Uh, what else can we do? I want to keep on looking. We actually have some some neat um, hidden pairs as well. So, for example, look at how we have uh, a one and a three right here, cutting into block one, and a one and three right here, cutting up here. It means the one and three are limited to the same two spots in block one. So that's actually a hidden pair. And so I wanted to point that out. And you got this two and a four, and this two and a four. It's the same thing. We also have another hidden pair. So again, I'm building this case to the spot where we actually need the XYZ wing. So you need to pay attention because the XYZ wing, that strategy is the most important. It will crack this puzzle. But we got to get to that spot first. It's not a strategy you use right away. It's something that you have to kind of build to uh, when you run out of these other types of options. And so now I got this 2, 4, 6. It means the 6 has to be one of these spots. So the 6 is now a, uh, a pointing pair down here means the six can't be anywhere else along row nine. And that's going to come into play a little bit later. Uh, it actually can kind of come to play now. So yeah, the six cuts down column two, and then a six has to be one of these two spots. So I can make that Snyder mark. Uh, so that means with these sixes pointing this way, a six is limited to those two spots. And so I can make that mark. In the same way, a four is actually going to be limited to the same two spots because this four coming down here so four is a pointing pair here so you can't have a four there or there and because of this four you can't have four there so this is actually a four six hidden pair and so you want to be able to mark those hidden pairs because it's going to help us to solve and now you'll notice that the two is cutting across here so two can't a two has to be one of these two spots um and what else it does for us is you'll notice now that since the twos are on those two spots there, and a three is coming down column one, and the two and three are cutting across row nine, this has to be a two, three hidden pair as well. That's the only places a two and three can be in those spots. And so now you can look down here and go, what is missing? A one, five, and an eight. Well, I got a one and a five, so this actually has to be your eight, and I can make a one, five naked pair this time. Uh, great. Great, so now eight, eight, two spots for an eight here. I'll mark those. And you see, we're just making some good progress. So Yoshi 
He's good at making fun puzzles. Nothing so far has been too crazy. You haven't gotten really stuck. As long as I can continue making some solves, I'll keep going with these uh, beginner and intermediate type strategies. So you're looking for a six, seven, nine down here. So six, seven, nine, because that's all that can be remaining in column, or excuse me, row nine. Uh, we know that can't be a seven, and we know this can't be a six. And so what does that leave up here? It leaves a three and a five. Uh, can we solve for that yet? No, we actually can't. But we can put the three, five there, which now these threes are like a pointing pair. And to go along with this two and the three, the two and the three, cutting across row one, the only place left for two and three up here in block three is right there. And you might think, oh, there's some kind of cool... Uh, alternate inference chain or continuous loop going on. It really isn't. I looked into it. There's really not. Uh, those are the only two spots in each of those spots. This not really even counts as a X-wing because you can't make any eliminations from it. But it is good pattern for us because it creates things like when you cut across, you know, now the ones are limited to one of these spots. Uh, it's point, you know, kind of like a pointing pair of ones and it's just helpful for us. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so now we know the six is limited to one of these spots up there. So another point pair um, with the sixes. <clears throat> so this is good. All right. And with the fours as well, because now the fours are limited to the same two spots. So it's actually going to be a hidden pair for us. And this is good for us because now we got a five, eight, nine cutting across the top. Uh, that five. So that's actually got to be an eight, nine. And then we go five, eight, nine here. That can't be a nine. Um, but if we look at this cell, you actually look here and go, what can fill in column one? And you'll see we're going to be able to make some uh, solves here. It's got to be a two nine, right? It's the only two cells remaining down there. So this actually cannot be a nine. It's got to be a five eight. And since this is a five eight and this is a five eight, naked pair, uh, you got to knock that eight out. That's got to be a nine. Okay, so we made that solve for the nine, uh, which is great for us. And so now what can we do? We can actually boot two nines right there and we can look over here and go this has got to be a one eight all right so a one eight naked pair um and with this nine now we can solve this for a seven and you can get rid of this seven okay so made a lot of pairs and you're going okay timberlake i don't see it where is my x y z we're about to get to that Stay tuned. And this puzzle, the way it's set up, uh, kind of reminds me of another puzzle that includes an XYZ wing. I'll put a link to that at the end. But keep following along. This is really good stuff here. Because we're about to get to that spot that you've been asking for. All right. So let's look here. What do we have cutting across here? What can this cell be? It looks like it could be a five or a six because everything else plays into that. Okay. And then we want to look, and we kind of want to look, what can this cell be right here? All right. And so, first of all, let's look here. Three and a three, and this three means this has to be a three. Great. And so now, if we go right here, this cannot be a one. Uh, it can't be a two. It can't be a three, four, five, or six. It could be a seven or a nine. Okay. That's fair enough. What can this cell be? It can't be a one, two, three, four, five. It could be a six, seven, eight, or nine. Nope, it can't be a six. So seven, eight, or nine, right? Because we got the six right there. And then what can this cell be right here? It looks like it can be it can't be a one, two, three, or four. It could be a five. It can't be a six, seven, or an eight. So that's gotta be a five or a nine. Interesting, interesting. So we have a, a one of the key components of an XYZ wing would be you have to have a pivot that's got three cannons in it then you have to have another cell in the same block that has two of those three well there we go we got 79 we got 79 if we can connect these to something over here that also happens to have a nine in it we could be able to make a solve um, and i'll show you all right so if we go over here since this could possibly be a nine what can be in this cell it can't be a one, two, three, or four. It can't be a five or six or seven. It can be an eight or a nine. 
Bingo, this is what we were looking for. All right, uh, do you see it? If not, I'm about to show it to you. And I'll use blue and yellow, we're a little, little crazy here. All right, so X, Y, Z wing, three candidates, right? Uh, one, the pivot has to have all three candidates. In this case, that's a seven, eight, or nine. And then one of the pinchers got to be in the same block, and it's got to have two or three candidates. Other pincher is got to have two candidates, but it can't be the same as over here. And so we got a seven, nine here and eight, nine here. What you can do is you can eliminate the shared candidate, which is a nine, from any cell that sees all three of the colored cells. So whatever sees this cell, this cell, and this cell, you can eliminate a nine. And that'd be this cell right here. Uh, and the reason being is just plug in all three uh, cases of this blue cell and you'll see if this is a seven, that's a nine. And that can't be a nine. If this is an eight, that's a nine. That can't be a nine. And this is a nine, obviously that can't be a nine. So in all three cases, this cell right here can never be a nine. We can eliminate that nine. So that's an X, Y, Z wing. They don't pop up much. And if you understand an X, Y wing, it's kind of the same concept, but it's not as powerful because of the three candidates you can only solve within the same block. With an X, Y wing, you can actually solve two different blocks and you can solve some more candidates. Uh, I'll put a link to my XYZ wing video. I actually call it the best XYZ wing video on YouTube. You can check that out. I'll put a link right here. And you want to learn a little bit more about XYZ wings. And stay tuned to the end. I'll give you another puzzle that uses this great strategy. And we're not done yet. Yes, we were able to solve this for the five. And that's going to help us out. But we're not done with all the solving. All right? We're not completely done. So you got to stay tuned here. Let's get rid of these colors, first of all. And we'll do that, and we'll get back to our normal. And what are we looking for here? Three, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I see a seven, eight, and a nine right here. So this is actually a naked single three, and then this would be a seven, eight. And so now what you see right here, this is going to be a naked triple. Seven, eight, nine, limited to those three cells. They're actually lock candidates because they're limited in the block as well. So what does that mean for us? If the nine's got to be one of these three purple cells, then a nine can't be here anymore. We can actually solve that for a six and solve that for a nine. And then we can come up here and go, okay, we just solved the six. And now we got a four and we got a six. Follow me through here. What we want to do is eliminate as many of these marked candidates as possible before we go to the empty cells. Let's see how we can do that. All right, we got a four up there in column seven. So now we know that's a two and that's a four. Because I want to eliminate all this clutter if I can. I got a two here, so that means this has got to be a three. That's got to be a two. And now you remember this nice, cool relationship with these hidden pairs? Because that's a three. That's got to be one. That's got to be a three. Since this is a two, that's got to be a nine, and that's got to be a two. All right, this three coming down here means this is a two, and this is a three. So we got to do all that. Now we have all these cool bi-value cells along row seven. With this three, we can start solving those, because that's got to be a five, and that's a three. And because of this five, this is a six, and that's a four that's a six awesome now look at this one that's got to be a five that's going to be a one so i'm just trying to take care of any of the cans that i've already marked and because this is a five here's an eight and here's a five and i know i marked a lot starting off but i wanted to kind of show you what you need to put in place to get to that x y z wing all right we got a one across row three so that's got to be your eight that's got to be your one i got this nine and so now i'm going to look at these snyder marks and go okay i can solve that for a nine and can't solve that yet, but we're going to figure it out in these other cool little cells that we marked that we can solve right off the bat. Probably not, but let's go and look for the areas of greatest restriction. All right, we only got two cells missing in row three. So we need a five and we need a four. Can we do a four or a five? No, I'm actually gonna end up marking those. Three, four, five, so six, seven, eight. Can we mark, can we solve those? No, we can't solve those yet. Five, seven, eight down here. Now, ah, so maybe the places of great restriction is not where we are looking. But now I see something. Okay, this two means this can no longer be a two. We display Snyder. We can solve this for a two. That's going to get us back on track. Okay, now with that two means now we're limited here. This is going to be a six or a seven. Eh, don't know what it's going to be yet. Cross here, you're looking for a four, seven, nine. That's got to be a four, seven. And this would be a four nine huh all right how do i crack this without doing too many more marks let's see here we got 
one, one. We got all the ones. We got all the threes. I am so curious here. What's the easiest way to get these marks knocked out? And I think what's going to need to be is let's look uh, within this block here, right? So what do we need? We got one, two, three, eight, nine. So we need four, five, six, seven. So four, five, six means this has to be your seven. All right, so we can get rid of that seven right there. And now with this seven cutting across and this seven coming up, we can actually solve this four, seven, and that's going to be four, six. So force yourself. Can I keep solving this puzzle without making more marks? Uh, a lot of times I resort to that if I need to see things simpler, but a really good technique would be not making too many marks. Because in the nine in row five, that's got to be an eight. We displace the nine, so that's got to be your nine. That's got to be your four. And now there's only one place left for a four in block five, so we'll mark that. And so now we got this five and this four. Um, we got still got two spots for an eight. I want to finish that out. And what are we missing here? A five and a six. I got my five. Yay! So there's a five. There is my six. Okay. And now a six and a six means this has to be a six. And I'm looking for a seven or eight. This seven means this has to be a seven. This has to be an eight. And now I can get rid of the, the Snyder marks and solve that for an eight. We got two cells left. We're looking for a five or seven. I see my seven. I'm always going to kind of look up and look for the quickest candidate that will get me to the solve. So there's five and there's a seven. So you think you got X, Y, Z wings figured out? Check out this other puzzle. I think it's going to be a little harder for you to find the XYZ wing in this one. Thank you so much, Yoshi, for letting me feature this puzzle on my channel. I really enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. If you want to support Smart Hobbies, click on the Buy Me a Coffee link below. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching.